segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. Yeah. It is currently 1 hour and 43 minutes into the day of Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016. Yes, we are into the month of November. We didn't really get much. Of we got into the last few days of October. But once again, um, this is the way how it happens. Things just piled up and I got tired and I just wasn't able to vlog the way I should have been able to, the way I should have been. So, uh, this is it, it. This is kind of what happens. It's, it's um, you're making progress, and this is where the sort of the difficulty in vlogging appears that comes in. You're making progress, but just as you're making progress, you're getting to near the top of the hill. You're getting to that point where ah oh, yeah, I finally got it. This is when you start running out of energy. And it becomes, near the top, it becomes more and more difficult to take each next step. Because you're putting in so much effort ahead of that thing to, to get yourself enough momentum to go over the hill. Or to get to the, that plateau. You, know, you maybe assume it's going to be downhill after. Oh, after that, but it's not. It's just simply a plateau. You get to rest a little bit, and then you start up again. So, uh, when you're first starting off, there's a lot of optimism. Near the end, the exhaustion is starting to kick in. And rather than being optimistic about what you're doing, become pessimistic about what you're doing. So the beginning you're optimistic because you're rested, you you have these good ideas, you want to move forward with it. Uh, near the end, near the upgrades, and this is where you're in another period of upgrades again. Uh, this seems to happen almost every year between uh, September and oh, between August and uh, de December, January. We're always in a series of upgrades. We're always trying to catch up with our scheduling. Uh, this is a standard. This is what typically happens. And doing both Mars Alpha and Cyborg Alpha TV Network are two major, major projects. And uh, things fall off. And what's, what's fallen off for this month is actually the Or Project. The Or Project fell off this month, actually. Uh, I got into about maybe about uh, the 15th of October. And then the whole project is just simply as I sort of was starting to move into the next step, the next phase of the project. Um, it just kind of fell off and that's where it's been so far. I'm trying to get things back on the schedule again. But the thing right now, the first thing, which is good, like now, I just spent another about a couple hours now. Uh, but and that I've been working since uh, since the uh, since since Tuesday, uh, no, actually since Wednesday. No, it's not the second now. So it was, it's. Uh, let me correct this here. It's one hour and forty six minutes into the day of Thursday, November third, two thousand sixteen. I read my dates wrong. And this is, this is it. I've been working since the second. Uh, it's been more than a 12-hour day right now. It's been, actually, it's now approaching uh, a 14-hour day. I went food shopping. Uh, that always seems to knock me out uh, pretty significantly. I do know I have a new batch of, uh, of milk tea. That's a good thing. As, uh, 
I just did a 21 liter batch of milk tea, and this the formulation is slightly different. I keep changing the formulation for the uh, for the brew almost every every uh, every uh, brew cycle. Oh, I make a slight adjustment to it. So I was trying to find the right balance of, of flavors and the right balance of. Uh, I noticed that the different the different herbs I put in the uh, tea for the Chinese herbal tea, uh, the different items and the different amounts, the as your amount amounts vary, has different effects to it. So uh, that's that's what I'm, I'm trying to sort of uh, adjust to this and trying to sort of uh, get a bigger get get a better handle on it. So. Uh, <laughs> It does take a bit. So these things take these take time. They take effort. They are coming together. Things are coming together. I am producing more of the Tweet Line Plus. Uh, my editing bay is getting better. Um, there's more organized, so I can actually start producing more on here. That's what's actually happening. Is that the uh, the production system is now coming together and it's now more effective and more efficient than it was previously. So uh, it's gonna you know I, I this tonight I just did. Um, I should have uh, three or four different episodes. Let's see, I did from I did ninety. Uh, no, I did ninety one to ninety six. So that's ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six. So I got uh, six episodes uh, finished. They're now going to move. Be moving. They're now going to be moved over to the uh, upload system. From here, I'm going to move over to the upload system. And uh, starting tomorrow, they'll start going up. As for Tweetline Plus, I'm working on the next episode uh, of it uh, tonight and tomorrow. I was supposed to film it today, but I wasn't able to get to filming today. Hopefully, I'll get to filming tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a pr pretty heavy, <laughs> heavy, heavy one. Um, we'll see what type of... Uh, of, of, of uh, Outlook we get from this in terms of uh, the viewership uh, is it's, it's going to be a slog again because I haven't been fully active on the news channel. I didn't do, haven't done the work I needed to do. The BTS blog, the, the BTS blog, the channel that's doing well. I'm up near 140 uh, subscribers, so the viewership is growing. It's just a matter of keeping up pace. Uh, and the next thing I have to do now is work on INN, my internet news channel. News Network channel. That's I have to work on that channel now. Get that going. Also work on Bass TV and uh, Kawhi Tea House TV. These things are in the work. Some of the stuff is starting to come together, but there's still a fair amount of uh, organizational work and, and administration work that needs to sort of needs to be done to sort of really move things forward and get them into a situation where the project schedule is manage manageable. And of course, uh, uh, November 9th is coming up, and that's going to be the fourth trip up to uh, Mars Alpha. It looks like now I'll be going up to Mars Alpha at least uh, once a month. So uh, I'm going to start preparing for that. So <laughs> it takes me about a week or so just to plan everything, so and to get everything organized before I end up. So I, I end up starting. I end up starting to pack about a week and a half before I actually leave so uh, that's kind of the way things go and so right now my body is exhausted every time I walk the it, it, I, I come back I'm feeling great I'm feeling great I'm feeling great I sit down have something to eat and then that's it that totally takes off the adrenaline and when the adrenaline goes so does your ability to to uh, stay up and to push forward for through the next series of, uh, of uh, of uh, projects that you've scale, scheduled for the day. So um, the tasks now are, are more or less done. I'm going to finish up. Uh, I'm going to watch some more uh, YouTube, watch some YouTube TV. Uh, that's my now main TV channel. And uh, then I will um, uh, go to bed and uh, start again probably tomorrow around noon. So, anyways, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's BTS vlog. Take it easy. Already it's time to vlog. <laughs> yeah. It is, uh, let's see, 14 hours and, uh, 
14 hours and 40 minutes into the day of Thursday, November 3rd, 2016. Trying to remember the dates. <laughs> you know, and also, you know, the swallow there I was able to swallow a yawn because as, as typical, as soon as I start talking, the yawn comes on and I think it has something to do with the the uh, first deep breaths of the morning, the exertion of talking, I guess. Maybe if my body is, you know, it says it is fatigued, that, that, that this is where the yawn comes in. Is uh, It's a reaction to the uh, body's fatigue. It, need, it needs a uh, sort of a deeper breath of air. So, <laughs> I don't know, I thought it would take about five minutes to vlog now. I'm just now sort of, well, so, so I'm sort of getting, I'm... I'm Starting to more mill about. I'm gonna go have some breakfast. Uh, I've already started up the upload for today. Uh, I said I got uh, six episodes of Big Bang Theory URL done. And I thought I completely finished to the uh, upload uh, part of the uh, editing bay. So the editing bay is actually now split into a variety of different sections. There's two rendering stations where where you can. Do you uh, where you render it? It takes a couple. It takes anywhere from two to six hours to do the rendering for each uh, episode of whatever you're filming. But the thing is, if that happens when when you when you're rendering bay, the the rendering bay is, is filled, you're kind of stuck because you can't do anything else. So I've added a third system. This is sort of the central system, and the third part to the uh, well, sort of the second part because you have the two editing bays, right? Uh, that, that does the rendering. Then you have, uh, uh, you need a place for it to go uh, once you've done the rendering. What has to happen is though you have to sort of go on, you have to go on there and sort of uh, uh, edit what you've seen. Like we put together a, a description for YouTube because YouTube you have the title, the description, uh, and a whole bunch of other different things there. So that means what happens, that clip comes back to the central system and there I do all the description, uh, the write-up. I also do titles on there sometimes, uh, the sort of the opening themes. Uh, basically, short segments are done on the main system. Uh, nothing large is done on the main system. Then you go to uh, uh, the upload system. This is the uh, a fourth system that does nothing but uploading. And so uh, that's what's happened now is the six episodes are in the upload uh, bay. And they're in the process of being uploaded, and but bit by bit I will push them out onto YouTube. And uh, we will have a, a sort of a regular, uh, pace of uploading. So in other words, the editing system now is now working at a better pace. It's more organized. There's still there's still more work to be done. Um. Uh, there's still a lot more organ organizational work that needs to be done. So this is sort of the situation that's going on now. Uh, I've got to do that today. I've got to do, do uh, a lot more organizing today. I've also got to do some cleaning up uh, in my place. So that has to be done. So there's another good 12 hours ahead uh, uh, that has to be sort of filled up with a variety of different bits of uh, work that uh, hopefully by the end of the day, Oh, and there we go again, <laughs> the yawn, something I can't control, and of course, what happens is that as I'm talking, my eyes start to dry out, and these little, little uh, um, nodules, if you want to call them, the little balls, uh, form in the eye, and I don't like to leave them there, so I, as soon as I start to feel that there's something in the eye there, I just go and I... Uh, you're not supposed to rub your eyes. You're not rubbing your eye is bad for the eyeball itself. So if you do a sort of like like this, you take your finger and you and you brush like that. And sometimes if it's, if you need to sort of sweep your eyelids, you go like this. Again, it's it's it's, it's not a heavy plug. And there and there it is. I got something. And sometimes the brusher doesn't get everything. And then uh, just that little uh, it, it, it's sort of like brushing along the eyelid. We'll get things out that maybe you've missed or uh, something like that. So, in other words, I think it's, it, 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 it's, it, oh, well, why don't you just wash your face? Well, I've done that. 
what happens is the, these the process of the eyes drying uh, is something that happens continuously throughout the day. It, it really depends on, on the person's body chemistry as well. Uh, and so I'm not the type of person who I like I don't like leaving these things in my eyes. So as soon as they pop up, my reaction is to remove them. And again, it's do using that brushing uh, the, the brushing motion. And so that's that, that's kind of uh, some of the twitches I have. This this is the sort of the things that on the camera. I always have these twitches, and well, even even not on camera, I have these twitches and uh, different things. And I'm not going to sort of sit there and you know be too worried about editing them out because I'm not here to present a perfect image. I'm here to present information and uh, stuff like that. And as long as uh, the stuff is relatively minor, you know, I think that. Uh, I think it's much to do about nothing that uh, it, if people sort of say, oh, he did, he flicked something off his shoulder, you know, or something like that. So <laughs> these twitches happen. This is part of real life. And since this is a, a, a real life vlog, then this is what it is. You're seeing me as I am. So, um, yeah, so that's the, the work that has to get done today. There's a, a whole laundry list of things to do. Uh, and as I said before, uh, it's now we're going doing our fourth trip up to Mars Alpha uh, on November 9th, 10th, I think, I think 11th. I think those, there's three days there we're going up. One, the two days of travel, one is going up, one full day there, and then uh, another day uh, traveling back again. Uh, so uh, i got to start prepping for that. Uh, hopefully, I can... Uh, fix the defective side of the water system. This is the two sides of the water system uh, in the uh, main cabin that supplies everything. There's a winter system. That's the one that's defective now. And there's a summer system. The summer system is still on. Uh, in terms of that's the side everything is switched over to. So everything is switched on the, uh, on, on the out outdoor side uh, because it also control controls all the faucets outside as well. Everything's done on the outdoor side, and that, and then what has to be done done next is uh, I have to repair the defect the, the defect, or actually there's several defects uh, uh, at two points on the winter indoor side uh, of the cabin. So that has to be done, and I have the solution for that. I just haven't installed it yet because they have, well, I haven't been been up there so. Um, <laughs> that's kind of the way things go. Sometimes you have the ability to do things. Sometimes you don't have the ability to do things. And so it it does take a bit of time to sort of resolve problems. Uh, in terms of uh, getting a fully functioning system, that's kind of the way I've, I've done things. Is that, you know, as long as things are somewhat functional, you can work around these some some minor problems. These problems were minor. They they could have there were workarounds to them. Uh. But it's always better to have something that's working fully than, you know, always, you know, do better than, than, than you intend to do or, or get as close to that, that, that level of, of, uh, of functioning where you don't, you have you can sort of minimize the workarounds or the defects in the system so uh, that you can deal with other issues, you know, because there, there are more issues that are going to sort of uh, have to be resolved uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the uh, winter system, because the winter system right now is temporary, they pull it, they, they, they take it out every year, um, so, but that's not necessarily good. There's also a situation that uh, the lines uh, that run underground, the water lines that run underground, they're using garden hoses, so it really doesn't matter if they freeze up, if, if there's something there that freezes up. And so the, the goal here would be to uh, rather than uh, just simply let them leave like that, is to unhook some of the ends. And what you can do is, when you, where your tap is open, I have a uh, air compressor, is simply blow air through the system and have that uh, clear out the, uh, the, the, have that clear out the, uh, 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 the, uh, the lines for, for, from water and moisture. So uh, these are kind of things I'm going to have to sort of work on bit by bit, Put, uh, upgrading the uh, water system. So that's what I'm preparing to do this time. Uh, I don't know how much of it I'm going to get done. But that's kind of uh, 
the way things go, you, you set out a plan, you prepare for the plan, and then by the time you get to it, uh, you'll see what you can can get done and what you can't get done. And that's sort of the same thing here today. The schedule is, I have the schedule for today, more or less, uh, which is basically working on Cyborg Alpha TV Network. I do have to finish another episode of Tweetline Plus. And hopefully I can get down to some editing, because uh, I, so I, I need to finish some editing work past TV, the uh, show Meditations. Then I also have to do some work uh, to get um, uh, the uh, Kawhi Tea House TV moving along. That has to be done as well. So, uh, <laughs> that's it. Fair bit of, of work on my plate to do today. And the thing is, I might, if things go well enough, and this is sort of, I haven't definitely put this in, this is sort of a tentative thing. If things are going well enough, enough I'm going to try to restart the ore project at the point where it stopped last, you know, in October. Uh, and this is with the multiple points now, the point at Mark Elvis in, in here. And I'm going to try to sit down and work these different issues out that, that allows me to sort of, again, because I do have the office that's outside, and I thought portable office, so I can bring my office up with me and get work done out there. It's a matter of just sort of organizing things so to make sure that, that when I am outside doing that work, doing the observation, that work is getting done and that things are progressing along. In other words, it, it needs to be, these all these products need to be fit into the work schedule and multiple things have to be done at the same time. That's kind of where the problem is, is sort of getting your schedule straight. That, that You have to make sure that everything gets done, but is functional enough so that you can do other things at the same time. In other words, multiple products are worked on at multiple at the, at the exact same time. And in order to do this, in order to do this multitasking, your organization has to be uh, good enough to handle it. Because then that's it, good enough because you're not going to get perfect. Good enough as, well, as long as you're functioning and moving along. And that's kind of what happens here. You, you get enough done, you move enough, enough along that things eventually progress. So, anyways, I will see you in a couple hours because uh, I'm going to try to uh, make it, uh, a, a, an effort to vlog as much as I can. Uh, so, multiple times throughout the day. And we'll see what type of vlogs we can sort of put together in terms of a daily vlog. Uh, alrighty, I'll see you in a couple hours. Democratic Earth. Earth.